Hello, all you wonderful, lovely Tumblr YouTube people who are watching this video. So, I am here today on yet another Thursday to do a video on natural horsemanship and what it really is because I've, my dash has just been full of stuff about people who think natural horsemanship is just, um, sorry, got distracted there for a second, just something on my screen. But anyways, who think natural horsemanship is just going and doing stupid tricks with your horse? Like, I saw something with a girl with her horse's hoof on her head. Like, what possesses you to do that? Or, you know that picture, everyone, a lot of people have seen it now, with the girl who has her horse's hoof on her stomach. And, honestly guys... That is a stupid thing, but that is not natural horsemanship. That is not what we're about. Natural horsemanship through feel, which is what I do, is working with your horse in a way, as a team, in a way that the horse will understand. It's, say, okay, join up. I'm using join up as an example, but it. Join up, you're working your horse in a way that your horse will understand. It is bringing in the components that it would have in a natural herd environment. Although you're not a horse. I know we all wish we were, but we're not. And anyways, yeah, natural horsemanship. It's working as a team with your horse. That's pretty much all it is. Whether you're going to be smart about it or whether you're going to be stupid. And being stupid is putting yourself in danger and you're putting the horse in danger also by doing that. Because if something goes wrong, that horse could be sent to the slaughterhouse. Because no one's they're going to deem that horse as dangerous. And it's not the horse's fault. Most of the time it's not the horse's fault. It was an accident on their part. Because they don't try to hurt us intentionally most times. They'll do it if they feel threatened, but they're not going to intentionally do it most times. And you may think differently if you do whatever. I'm just saying what I think, and that's what I think. Um, if you want to know, know more about natural horsemanship, look up books or read or watch videos from Bill Dorrance or Buck Brenneman or Ray Hunt. Just any of them, really, because... Those are the guys that I actually listen to, and I like them. Um, Clint Anderson is good, too, I believe. I My dad's not... He's not one of my dad's favorites, so I really don't get into a lot of his stuff, either. Because all my reading material gets from my dad. But, yeah. And, hang on a second. Yeah. Yeah? Say hi. Hey y'all, this is Delilah, back in Texas. I say hi and stuff. Hi there. <laughs> I like I like chicken pot pie. Oh really? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> say Delilah, do you like any fish? <laughs> What's your favorite fish, Delilah? <laughs> uh, my favorite fish is the kind you don't eat. Because it's so cute and stuff. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's why. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say bye, Delilah. <laughs> bye, folks. It's Delilah. Say goodbye. <laughs> See you later, Delilah. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just... He's really weird. <laughs> um... That was my boyfriend, Yash. He's strange. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, natural horsemanship. It is working as a team with your horse, in a way that your horse will understand. It is not being stupid. It is not putting your horse's head on your hoof and t <laughs> It's not putting your horse's hoof on your head intentionally. I'm sorry. I can't speak. I apparently can't form sentences either. Um, yeah, Bill Dorrance, Buck Brandman, Ray Hunt, Clint Anderson if you want. I, 
I'm not sure on him. It's, yeah. Also, I've heard something about rope halters, people not liking rope halters. This is sort of off subject, but like, why don't you like rope halters? I don't get it. I mean, I use rope halters. I don't leave them on my horse. I don't leave, um, halters on my horses when they're in pasture. I can explain that in another video. I'm not going to do it in this f video. But seriously, why do people not like rope halters? Like, puts pressure on the face in the right places. So if you have a horse that tends to get out of control, often you have pressure in the points where it will affect them. And my ice cream is melting. I haven't even touched it since I started this five minutes ago. Yeah, but I don't get it. Why? Whatever. If you have an opinion, let me know. Um, my Tumblr is always open. I'll link it down below again. I will every week if I remember. Um, shoot me an ask. Tell me your opinions, what you think, what you have questions on, if you want me to make a video on something specific. If I don't know much about something, I can always look it up and, like, research it, you know? So I will make a good video on it. I'm sorry this video sort of sucked. I'm just sort of really distracted. I apologize. Yeah, but hopefully you got some entertainment out of yes. <laughs> I do. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next week. And I am out of here.